Hi everyone, welcome back. So for today's video, I will be showing you guys how I make fettuccine chicken alfredo. So I will be showing you guys the ingredients and seasonings and what you will need. Um, I sort of already did this on my own already. And just for the sake of this video, like I don't want it to be too long. So just to start, you will need fettuccine, of course. This can serve up to four people with um, leftovers for the next day. You're gonna need grapeseed oil, any kind of oil, um, two spoons of cream cheese. You're gonna need four chopped up garlic, six spoons of butter. Um, this is optional, but you can also add a mushroom. Two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream, one cup of parmesan cheese and you're gonna need garlic powder italian seasoning salt pepper and parsley and this is all one tablespoon and this is what i use for the chicken i use paprika black pepper lemon pepper as well as salt so i have my chicken all prepped up here this is how i'm going to be starting it but after i'm done like um like cooking it i'm gonna be cutting it to small bite pieces that way it's more easier to eat so yeah you guys this is all you're gonna need and i'll show you guys the first step you're gonna do okay so since my water is already coming to a boil or pretty much it's already boiling i'm gonna be adding a little box of fettuccine in here and i had added i believe like one tablespoon of salt and a couple of drops of grapeseed oil. That way um, the fettuccine won't stick and it can have a little bit of flavor. So we're just gonna leave that there. Okay, in a big pan, we're gonna begin to saute our mushroom and we're only gonna add that tiny amount of grapeseed oil or your oil of choice once again start adding your mushrooms we're gonna go ahead and add black pepper to your liking i'm honestly just gonna sprinkle it and eyeball it also going to be adding salt. So once we're going to use black pepper and salt. Okay. Once we have done that, we're just going to be moving this around. And like I said, um, mushroom is optional. You could go ahead and add this to your fettuccine or you can go ahead and skip this. So we're gonna go ahead and cover this and then continue mixing at the end. So once the mushroom is all sauteed, we're gonna go ahead and remove them and place them in the same bowl that we used. So just have in mind that I had cut these mushrooms. I know sometimes they sell pre-cut, but it's up to you. I just don't mind cutting them up. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove these. Okay, so in that same pan, we're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit of more oil. We're going to add half of the garlic that I have and we're just going to place it here. So just keep in mind this is about two garlic cloves. Alright, so now we're going to begin placing our chicken here.
So once we've placed our chicken, we're just pretty much gonna leave this here. And we're probably gonna have to wait around five to seven minutes for the first side to be well cooked. All right, then we're just gonna go ahead and flip these guys. So once again, um, for the seasonings with the chicken, I added salt, pepper, lemon pepper, and paprika, and I probably used maybe one tablespoon and a half or so, and then I just mixed it together and placed it here. And now we're going to wait another five to seven minutes for this to finish cooking. All right, you guys, so this is how well cooked you want your chicken to be. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove these, cut these up into small bite-sized pieces, and I will be back to show you how to prep and make the sauce. All right, so the fettuccine is already done. I'm just gonna wait for that to cool down and then drain it. Um, now I'm gonna be working on the sauce here, so I placed a small pan and once it's a little bit heated i'll go ahead and show you guys the next few ingredients and seasonings okay so this little pan is pretty much heated up already as you can see i'm gonna begin to add the six spoons of butter placing that here guys a little bit closer okay so next we're gonna add the rest of the garlic that I had mentioned previously and here is about two garlic cloves chopped up as I mentioned now we will begin to add the two spoonfuls of cream cheese And then we'll just wait for this to pretty much melt along with the butter and, and the garlic cloves. I'm just going to go ahead and begin whisking this a little bit. Alright, so once that is good to go, we're going to go ahead and add our two and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. It already smells so good, you guys. And we're gonna go ahead and whisk it very carefully. But it should look like this when it's well whisked. After, we're gonna go ahead and begin adding our seasonings. So once again, I used one tablespoon of each. It's salt, pepper, parsley, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning. We're gonna whisk one more time okay and the final ingredient is parmesan cheese so so good you guys I'm gonna go ahead and pour this here my hands are clean and one last time we're gonna go ahead and whisk
All right, you guys, and you wanna make sure that your sauce is at this consistency. And by then you should know that it's pretty much done already. I'm just gonna heat this up for about a minute or two more. And then we'll add all the ingredients that are left together. Okay, so our fettuccine is already done, as you can tell. And I placed it back into the big pan in which we sauteed the mushrooms and our chicken. So, so now we're just pretty much going to be adding the mushrooms back in here. Next, we'll go ahead and add our chopped chicken into bite-sized pieces. We're going to go ahead and mix all of this. And you guys, I actually forgot one ingredient that I always... um put on my fettuccine chicken alfredo and that is broccoli i totally forgot it when we were on the way home that's when i noticed but yeah just so you know i would also add broccoli to this personal preference of course and the last step is to pour in the sauce we made Now this is some good consistency and I'm going to go ahead and add all this in here. And then mix one last time, make sure everything's fully coated. And honestly, I have to say this is much better than fettuccine chicken alfredo from Olive Garden. Okay, so now I turned on the flash so you guys can see how good this looks. Alright, you guys, so this concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, like I said, I pretty much prepped this ahead of time. That way, this video wouldn't be too long. And just so you know, it might take maybe up to an hour or more um, to like make this. This is honestly, in my opinion, so much better than fettuccine or shrimp alfredo from Olive Garden. Um, and considering that the plate over there is like $20 or so, or maybe even more. And honestly, with all the ingredients shown, and the seasonings as well like I feel like um, everything together is probably like $30 or less but you're feeding more than just a plate so um, I really encourage you to try this recipe it's so so good um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys very very soon